Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be showing you the secret behind easy solo res breaching. So, in the past, we were under the impression that the best that you could do is limit where you touch the ground. As long as you don't touch anywhere but where you want to res breach for more than, say, I don't know, a quarter second. You could go there, then just go sufficiently far away, die, and then res through the ground. The ghost doesn't always show up where you're going to spawn, of course. And now I'm up by the Shard of the Traveler. But recently, Henry and I made an interesting discovery. First, Henry did this experiment. Simply go from one end of an area to another, and then die. It turns out there's sort of a death exclusion zone, which will delete any candidate points that are too close. I respawned way back here. After that, I did a different experiment. We're just going to jump off the edge here and see where we respawn. <laughs> Now I'm just going to mark that spot with a sparrow and do it again to make sure that we spawn the same spot. If this drop were shorter, we might not spawn back at the same spot. And now I'm just going to block that spawn with stasis so that I can't spawn there again. You can see I spawned a little bit away. We found that that distance is pretty consistent. It is in fact the minimum distance to set a new spawn point. So if I jump off before the sparrow, you'll see that my spawn point hasn't actually changed. However, if I run a little bit past the sparrow, You'll see that my spawn point is once again lined up directly with the sparrow. Not a little bit past where I had gone before. So, what does this let you do? So let's say I want to very accurately control my spawn point and spawn on, say, this back ledge here. So I just walk along it for that minimum distance, jump a little bit and then I can just do whatever, run around, jump a bit. And as long as I go to the right sort of distance, the death exclusion zone will cancel out everything I've done in between those two points. And I'll spawn right on this edge. So let's take a look at a handy animation here. As you go through the point exclusion zone, you set new candidate spawn points. After you die, the spawn points within the exclusion zone go away and you respawn at your last valid one. The minimum distance to set a new point gives us another possible technique, which I'll demonstrate here. Instead of using stasis and all sorts of trickery, I can just set a point down here. And that means that I can't actually set one while I climb, and I can just crouch walk into position. Now I can just walk along this edge, and at this point I have set a new candidate spot. So now I just need to go away a ways and die. At this point, I didn't fully realize the power of both of these techniques, so I was still avoiding the ground. Just going to die here, and I should respawn right out of the map. And there you go. No crouch jumping shenanigans required. I'll go ahead and show you that again so you can see it as a, just a fluke. I'd say I currently get this to work maybe half of the time. 
all of the precision pretty much comes down to where you land here. And the nice part about that is most of this jumping here doesn't really matter. I just walk in here, and if my point below is set just right, I should be forced to set my candidate in the correct spot along this wall. And after I jump just a little bit, I can actually just walk the rest of the way because all of this will be deleted by the death exclusion zone. Definitely a lot more consistent than the previous methods. And there you see, I am out of the map again. I look forward to seeing what people are able to come up with with this. Because it is a very powerful technique for precisely positioning your spawn points. Well, hope you enjoy giving that a try.